You know when you wake up and you have those like real, real confident days, like, I don't care, I'm just gonna do me. I would go out like this. But today is the day for headbands. If this is your first time here, my name is Jocelyn Renee and you can think of me as your digital optician. And I invite you to hit that subscribe button if you would like some inspiration, some tips, some wellness along your lock journey, you are in the right place. So go ahead and hit subscribe and turn on the notifications. In today's video, it's a little bit different from any other video that I've posted. Well, I won't say every other, but this is different in that I'm going back to one of my old videos. I think I want to go with a video from when I was in my second month locked. Now I'm in year seven. So going back from now until then, just to reflect, hopefully this will inspire you or it may make you feel good about where you are because, ooh, it was a struggle for me, okay? Before we get started, in the comments, definitely just share where you are in your journey. So what year, what month is this for you? Are you still thinking about starting? Have you had them for a while and you're thinking about, okay, maybe I should restart? Like, where are you in the journey? Leave me a comment down below. All right, let's go ahead and find this video. I have a ton of videos on my channel, so going to find that one, we'll get it. Okay, I see week one, which may be interesting, the first month and week nine, which is like week two. So first let's take a look at week nine because that's what I said this video is gonna be about, all right? So opening up this video. Hey guys, just finished shampooing. So first off, I love that I have a little topsy-turvy like a hair band on, a shower towel on. My locks cannot fit in that right now. <laughs> and I don't, one, I don't know where this is. And two, if I did, it wouldn't work for me either. And I can't even think of when the last time my locks fit in something like that. It's been a while. Wow, so you see after shampooing, I did start with two strand twists. After shampooing, they're just loose, unraveling. They're doing pretty well. Um, they still unravel. So first I wanna say, <laughs> it's, it's to be expected, yes, it's, crazy because that with this and like this is my third lock journey the first time i was on this journey i was always like oh my gosh am i doing it right like what's going on i'm not sure like ah i was super just my perfectionism was showing up um having had that second set for i want to say it was two years two or three years probably was three years so yeah having had that set for three years i knew going into this this journey that all right even if they unravel even if they come out it's going to be fine because they eventually they were locked and so I stress I always try to tell anyone who's just starting the journey that's getting frustrated with them unraveling I'm just like yo it is totally fine in the end or not even the end but like year, in years to come you will not even know that they were coming out so just stay patient this is gonna be really real, okay? I'm gonna show you what my hair looks like because I just fell asleep and it was still a little too. Oh! <sighs> my, how far we've come. Cause y'all know I'm not, yeah. I don't be telling y'all to air dry. But here I go, seven years ago, talking about something, oh, I'm gonna just go air dry. That was crazy, <laughs> right? If you don't let your hair dry down or before you go to sleep, it, it can look crazy. Even if you do and you have on a um, crazy diet, like your hair just goes everywhere. So, you know, it happens, but this is, this is real life. I cannot believe I was on camera. Talk about real life. Okay, headband. That's cute. Okay, I see you. I had to figure out all the things. 
today I'm rocking a headband just because. Okay, um, lip. I don't know. Just. I'm Your hair looks crazy. To kind of keep my hair off my face and you know have a, have a beautiful face. So I don't want to hide that while my hair is kind of doing its own thing. So I just I like to pull it off my face. But even without the headband, kind of you look crazy. Still doing their own thing. It's not too bad. <laughs> but yeah, finding a headband kind of makes it. Makes it taller. Why for snatch it off like that? But see, I'm trying to tell you, them beginning stages, it, 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 your hair is doing its own thing, has a mind of its own. And I know I was heading to the salon at that point. Okay, let's fast forward a little bit. This must be another shampoo. What's happening? Okay, this is a day four of week nine. I did a parting cleanup and lock brushing, which means I probably just like separated the roots and kind of like wrapped the loose hair around the lock. So um, I just went through and really just separated my locks and try to pull my hair into the lock. What I have realized is that I'm one of the people whose hair grows around the lock versus in the lock and so i have to train my hair so it's going to be a while before i can kind of like semi free form a lot um so for now i'll just define my parts and i used um lock brushing to help me <laughs> brush my hair out yo now i'm like remembering like how i was feeling at this time i was seeing like really thick juicy locks and i loved it and i wanted my hair to look like that and everyone was saying like if you want thick juicy locks like don't retwist and so i was trying to extend the time between retwisting and it was not working my hair was literally just it was just a nest you saw how it looked after i washed it and slept on it it was all crazy like it just kept getting worse just kept tangling at the roots and so Th that is on like I I'm, I'm happy to see that I had enough awareness not to go down that path at that time because it would have been all bad and so I, I know that for the most part with this set I was religiously like every four weeks making sure that I retwisted my hair because of that exact issue. Now I can send my free form a little bit longer, but my hair still grows away from my locks. It's just not as bad as it was when I first started. Oh my goodness. I remember this just sitting chatting my my locks you know, one of the things about having or starting a lock journey and especially being around people that don't really support the lock journey I was so grateful for the community that we built online because posting these vlogs and videos like really kept me encouraged in those early stages because it was tough. Like walking around with my hair just sticking out all crazy and everyone like, oh, you need to do your hair, comb those out. Your hair is too good to have locks. And then I had to do my best to kind of like ignore them and stay with the journey. So I was, I've forever been grateful for our community and just going back to watch it makes me realize like this is why the love for y'all is so deep because if it wasn't for y'all supporting me and encouraging me I don't know um, so yeah thank you for joining me on the first vlog we're in week nine um, but I think this is going to be a lot more fun, a lot more intimate. Of but yeah, let's, before we just hop off, let me just go back to week one real quick, just so you can see kind of where, where things came from with week one. Hey, so I did decide to restart my restarted set of locks. <laughs> 
y'all this is probably gonna be off the chain i'm not gonna stay here long and let me know if you like these kind of like reaction videos like how do you how do you feel about that going back in time it's almost like reflecting in your journal almost just like oh yeah i was thinking about that oh yeah that was happening so when i first started this journey omg y'all why <sighs> I had told myself I was not going to color my hair. And then at the very last second, I did this color on my locks. And then when I combed them out, this is the color that I started with. It's just like this dusty green-ish color at the top. Oh, it was a mess. So um, I decided to go a little smaller. And what I really wanted to do was come show you my week one update because previously on my lock journey, I would have never come on camera with my locks looking like this. But I want to show you that frizz is normal. This set, I did go to um, have them done because I had started my lock, my second lock journey myself. And I didn't like the parts. Like, that's why I cut out that set the parts i had square parts i knew i knew at the beginning of that journey that i needed diamond parts but i didn't know how to do them so this third set when i combed those out this third set i was like okay i have to go get the diamond parts done and started with twists and as you can see my hair is super soft and super frizzy even in week one but at that first shampoo i do not plan on retwisting my intention is to semi-free form and you know kind of extend the time between my maintenance as much as I can because I'm going for a thicker set of locks if you haven't checked out the post how to grow thick locks one of the key aspects to growing thicker locks is to leave your hair alone so look giving tips talking about I'm all just in my free form and then week nine was like er, actually you're not about that life <laughs> let's take a step back <laughs> I really missed um, these little vlogs and like just update videos. Uh, this was fun to kind of kick back and watch and see the journey, like where I've come from to now. Like you can see my locks was above my ears and now they, oh, let's see, Ooh, all the way out here. I gotta get a tape measure and measure it. I'm sure it's at least 14, 16 inches. So, hey. Just stay patient, trust the process. Going from month one to month 84, it's a lot of fun, it's a lot of stages, there's a lot of things in between. I can tell you for a fact, it is all worth it. Let me know if you enjoyed this kind of like reaction video. And as always, I am wishing you peace, love, and good vibes.